Hello, my name is Matthew from Spell Stormwater and in front of me here I have one of our Periceptors. These periceptors are the workhorses of the industry and they protect the environment from a catastrophic oil spill generally at service stations. So how it works, this is the inlets, this is the discharge and so you have all your water flowing in here, it goes through, gets separated and then we have very clean water flowing out the other side. As you can see it's a two chamber design so this first chamber this removes 90 to 95 percent of the hydrocarbons and then the second chamber does the final polish and it's really really important to have this two chamber design if you didn't have that if you only have a single chamber design in a heavy storm condition the discharge almost certainly would be non-compliant so a few key advantages of the spell pureceptor the first is that we have a six minute detention time under full storm flow conditions so what that means is a drop of water coming in the entrance here will take six minutes to make its way through the whole separator and come out the other side. This is really key because detention time is one of the key factors in a oil water separator and it's also the easiest way to compare one separator with another separator. And at six minutes we have one of the longest detention times on the market. Another thing that the detention time does for you is it gives you really really slow horizontal velocities so the P010, which is our 10 litre a second unit, it's the most common unit we sell, the horizontal velocity under full flow is 0.88 centimetres a second. So it's very, very slow, which is really, really important. The next critical thing with um, what makes this separator work really well is the shape of it. It's long and it's relatively shallow and relatively narrow. So why that's important when you have your flow come into the inlet, there's a little flame trap there and a little elbow which directs the flow down and it keeps all the turbulence at this end of the separator and then you get nice laminar flow going through the rest of the separator and that gives lots and lots of time for the small um, oil droplets to rise up and some of those oil droplets, the, the, the vertical rise time is very, very slow. The, Next critical point that I want to talk about is the coalescing filter. So this is this little guy here, and the point of this is that it's properly positioned at the bottom of the separator. This is really, really critical because how a coalescing filter works is it agglomerates oil globules. So you get small oil globules up to 150 micron thick. Uh, they're so small that they cannot rise up under the, under the force of their own specific gravity. So what happens is the coalescing filter grabs one of those globules, grabs the next one, grabs the next one, grabs the next one, grabs the next one until the critical mass becomes big enough for it to detach and then the oil globule to separate out of the coalescing filter and float up. If we had our coalescing filter at the top, which would be cheaper and easier to make, the problem is, is that the oil globules would agglomerate and then would go straight through the coalescing filter and out the discharge, which is not what you want to achieve. The next critical point, the weight of the separator. So obviously this is a demo unit, but it is made out of fiberglass, and as you can see, it's reasonably light. So with our spell pureceptors, when they're on site, you don't need a special crane to lift them around. Generally speaking, whatever dug the hole is gonna be heavy duty or big enough to be able to lift the separator up and put it into the hole. So it saves you crane costs on site. The last point I want to make is this automatic closure device. So this device here, the purpose of it is, is it sits inside the first chamber, inside this tube here, and I'll hold it on the outside for clarity, and that floats up and down in between the oil and the water levels. So as this first chamber fills up with oil and it starts pushing all the water out, this automatic closure device will start sinking um, below the oil level and it'll go down, 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 down until this first chamber is full of oil and then it'll shut off and prevent the flow going through, any flow going through the unit and what that does is if you have a spill that's more than the rate and capacity of the unit it prevents a catastrophic spill making it making its way downstream and it contains it upstream so yeah that's the spell pureceptor i hope you learned something thanks for watching